Oh. <laughs> the state, the media has been slandering him as far right as racist for decades. Why? Because he was calling out the sex groomers decades ago. He was branded as a racist. Now, finally, finally, the state is catching up with Tommy Robinson. Finally, the government has instigated an inquiry into the mass sex grooming. Will that inquiry have any balls? We have to see. This, that man, Tommy Robinson, visited this area about two months ago. Why did he visit this area? Because the bastards have been trying to Islamise this area. They have been trying to take over and control Speaker's Corner, just like they are doing across the country, with their bullying, with their intimidation, with their threats of violence, with their actual violence. People have been spat upon, kicked, punched, chased out the park. And I'm afraid to say, the police do very little. Shock! Nothing! Nothing! Shock! Fucking nothing! Shame! Shame on them! Shame on them! And they're surrounded Shame on by police. a baying mob. What do the police do? Fuck all! Nothing! Shame on them! Shame on them! Shame mob to leave the park. It's happened with Tan twice. It's happened with Joseph Corrin once. It happens all the time. The police go for the easiest option. They placate the bullies, the intimidating, Shame. violent, Shame. threatening Shame. bullies, and we must not stand for it. Yes. Do the job we pay you to do. There are two reasons why all of you people are here. Why all of the thousands were outside Downing Street yesterday. As Richard said. The authorities are using every last letter of the law to try and throw at our Tommy. He, the guy had a custodial sentence for a £2,000 family loan for a mortgage. He was thrown in jail for that. Outrageous. How many people do you think are doing that? Left, right and centre every day. <coughs> they are using everything to throw at this man. The second, even bigger concern is the strength of a secular, democratic, developed democracy is the independence of its judiciary. Clearly, the British ju judiciary is no longer independent. Absolutely. They are taking their orders from the politicians, from those people upon high. It's not the bobbies on the street. It's not the bobbies that put Tommy in the back of the van on Friday. It is the orders upon high who are politicising our yes. Are we living in Putin's Russia? No, we fight. It bloody well feels like it. We don't want Putin's Russia. Putin is an evil totalitarian dictator that controls the judiciary, that throws journalists in jail that dare speak out against him. Look, my friends, the exact same is now happening in Britain. Yeah. And we cannot allow it. No. Thank you. Oh, Rajo! Right, oh, right. 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 I speak loudly, but I'm not normally the one that stands up and speaks like this. I'm normally surrounded by like 50 people screaming and calling me a racist, <laughs> saying that I'm a stamophobe, that I'm a traitor, I'm a coon, I'm an Uncle Tom, a Tom. And so, you know, three or four weeks ago, I went to the Day for Freedom, and I think Tommy Robinson's event was amazing. I met Tommy and I spent five hours with him. And for everybody in the media and everybody saying he's a racist, I'm telling you straight now, the realist. he is not a Absolutely. racist. No, that's true. Yeah, really? I've spoken to him and I know him now, and he's an amazing guy. One of the things was that I knew from that day he's going to be targeted because it was such a successful event that now they're going to be using him as a scapegoat and just try and silence him. I don't speak for the Sikh community. A lot of Sikhs don't like me. Fair enough, I don't care. Yeah, I'm an individual. I don't think as a group. Yeah, that's the problem. A lot of people, they think, think as a group. Think, yeah, I think what's right and what's wrong. Sorry, what's right and what's wrong. And the thing is the grooming epidemic has been going on since the 80s with the Sikhs as well. Someone I know has been groomed. 
Yeah, I know other people that have been groomed. I know friends that went to prison for beating up groomers. And so the people that have been trying to fight it for all this time have been deceived. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it and most people are sick of it. And it was Tommy Robinson, he was the one that had the balls to come out and say that the grooming epidemic was well, all around the country, including with Sikhs, including with Hindus. And the one common denominator, you can't get away from it, is 85% of them are Muslim. Until yeah? that is addressed, forget about the race, forget about what's right and wrong in your brain, what's politically correct. I'm an Asian guy, yeah, I'm from the same place as a lot of these people that are uh, convicted of grooming. They're from Pakistan, the Punjab. I'm from the Punjab of the Indian side. Yeah, and we are the same people genetically, so it's not a racial issue. I am speaking up against something that is a disgrace to the country, and Tommy Robinson, in my opinion, is a hero. Yeah. Yeah. In my opinion, as somebody that will bring back the UK to what it should have been and what it should be, the Speaker's Corner is the first place that needs to be regained, because I'm sick and tired of coming here every week, and we're bombarded by, you know, we're outnumbered 1 to 40 every time, and we're surrounded. This needs to be taken back, and Tommy Robinson has done a little bit, but this is not just with the flag. It shouldn't just be for like a week, or, you know, when Tommy Robinson, it should be forever. In the winter, when it's raining, when we're here, and it's, you know, we've got umbrellas up, and it's like minus whatever, and we're still here. It's about regaining speakers' corner, because once this is lost, the whole of the UK will be lost. Yeah. Another thing is that I got the nickname Tommy Robinson yeah. as an insult. Yeah? <laughs> I didn't choose it. They chose it for me. I'm, I take pride in it now. So, you want to call me Tommy Robinson? Great. Well done. He said, our movement is made up of ordinary people doing extraordinary things. And yeah. that's what you are, and that's what I am. We're just ordinary people, and we're all doing extraordinary things. And we need to give ourselves a round of applause. Yeah. 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 Also, the Facebook page been set up by one of my, one of my friends here. It's called Free Tommy Robinson. It's had hundreds of thousands of hits. It's got a crowdfunder on it to try and raise money for his legal fees. Get behind what this man's doing. Let's support Tommy. Let's get Tommy out and let's see a great victory. Because remember, next time it could be me or you getting arrested and locked up. Yeah. Thank you for coming. God bless you all. Yeah. Yeah.